something in us innately yearns to confront death, right? That's how the man emerges finally. The boy dies and the man emerges. But again, because we don't have any thoughtful rituals that, that, that bring us through that. And our, our elder men in, in the world, they have no fucking clue what's going on either. A lot of, most of them are adolescent psycho psychology males at best too. So then we enter into a relationship with, with challenging women because we know they're going to fucking kill us. <laughs> and we hate that and we love it at the same time. You just said something very cute. <laughs> Thank you. That happens sometimes. Because uh, from my little experience in life, I don't have that much experience, but uh, through my journey, uh -huh. I realized that I was just creating, I was creating a cycle. Like, yeah. like you know, start recycling my father's wounds, yeah. my grandfather's wounds. Yeah. Like, it's all coming from generations. And I feel like your sex die is breaking the cycle. It's yeah. like taking a step back and saying, mm -hmm. one second, let me see what's going on in the big picture. Mm -hmm. Let me take, take charge of my life. And yeah, absolutely. Other yeah. People. And I think that's yeah. a very deep thing because yeah. I feel like a lot of issues, all different yeah. sorts of issues, all based out of yeah. that empty void. Well, I'll tell you, one of the biggest takeaways that I got from doing this, this sex diet, this 30-day diet, was it was like hitting the reset button on my self-worth. Because until that, until that time, I really was totally dependent on outside circumstances, pretty much women, to, to make me feel good about myself. By taking 30 days to not put that on them, to not put that on a woman, to really come back home to myself, oh my goodness, man. It's like I just got to be in the world as I am. I had an experience. I was walking through uh, Whole Foods. This is like uh, two weeks into this diet. And I was walking through Whole Foods in Venice where like some of the hottest women on the planet regularly hang out. And before, when I'd gone through that Whole Foods, I'm like looking, hunting, like who's here? Like who can I flirt with? Or who can I just, just be around or something, right? Gimme, 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 gimme. But on this uh, sex diet, I'm, I'm not allowed to do that, right? So I'm, I'm in there, I'm in there to get my groceries, handle my business and leave. But what was fun is because I was just allowing my sexuality to be and not, I didn't, it's like, there was no hope anyway that anyone would do anything about it anyway, do anything about having this sexual energy in my body. It's like, well, it's just going to be there then, right? I walked through Whole Foods. I was so fucking horny. My body was so alive. But what was beautiful is I didn't need anyone to do anything about it. There was, it, there was no hope of that happening anyway. So I remember walking through and it's like, I just wanted to fuck the world. Like I was just like, I felt like this giant delicious cock fucking the world with my consciousness. <laughs> How do you control yourself? It's so intense. Well, there was nothing to control. There was just, there was just, I was just alive. I mean, there was no, there was no putting this on someone else to do anything. That, that was, it was a very, it's a very mindful exercise. It's, I, when I wasn't doing the diet is when I'm, is when there's no control. That's when energy's leaking out everywhere. When I was doing the diet for these 30 days, it was just like, I was like just this powerful being, just allowing myself to be. I didn't, there was, if I don't put my worth on a woman, she can't give it to me, but she also can't take it away. And that's the key. You know, she can't take it away from me because I'm not, I'm not giving her that power anymore. And that's what the diet did for me. I stopped giving my power to people outside of me and I just allowed me to be. And that's, you know, we're all sexual beings, um, most of us, and, and most of us have shame around that, right? So in that diet, I just, I got to just, not be ashamed and and just allow it to be it was fucking amazing i mean just like like i said just i think all that's all any of us in our in our masculine orientation we want to just it's like all we're aching to and i say this in, in with in, in the most beautiful way we're all aching to fuck the world with our consciousness with our presence with our love Right, and I don't just that. That's not a. That's not even a sexual reference. That is a reference to our our hearts wanting to just penetrate life with our gift. And all those stories of I'm not worthy makes us contract around giving that gift, and we don't show up fully because we're so scared we're going to be rejected. Do you feel that after you did this diet and you came more whole within your body, do you feel like you're able to love more fuller? 
Um, yeah, absolutely. Because I'm giving from my fullness, not my emptiness. I'm not trying to get to fill something in, in this, you know, bottomless cup. I'm, I'm giving from my fullness. I'm giving from my fullness. I mean, that's a massive difference. I have just one thing I want to share with you. Sure. I, I did a writing diet. Okay. Um, and I got myself an office and I said, I'm just writing. Okay. My first 150 pages I wrote, I printed it out. Uh -huh. I held it up and I said to myself, what did I just write here? Okay. And everything that I was writing was just how I'm not worthy. Uh, I'm not good enough. Yeah. And I looked at myself and I said, this is something that I did. I worked so hard to write. And my yeah. whole life I'm told I'm not going to be able to write. I'm not going to be able to do anything. And there was a feeling of like fullness for myself that I actually did it. And that was like a different type of diet that, you know, mm -hmm. that I definitely feel like I would definitely want to try your diet. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, uh, it's totally... Uh, an adventurous experience and yeah if you want to come home to yourself so the book that I wrote about this it's called the the sex dating flirting hunting and hoping diet give up the insanity and get your life back like that's the subtext because it is it's all about giving up the insane stories that make other people responsible for our worth and coming back to sanity coming back to all any of us want is to give our gift it's, it's not even we're not really here to get shit from the world. Most people who have a lot are fucking miserable because they're not giving. Not everybody, but a lot of people are just so con concerned with getting, 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 whether it's from a, 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 a person or just life, whether it's money or whatever. The people that are really they're, they're in their, their joy are the people that are giving from their fullness. That's all any of us really want to experience is we came here to give our gift. And the sex diet is, 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 a, is a one pathway of coming back home to ourselves so that, again, we get out of the get, gimme, gimme, gimme mode and get into the, oh, yeah, let me just give my love. Can we take a break? Yeah, yeah. For me, it's, it's been waking up to I'm already valuable. There's nothing you can validate or invalidate in me, nothing at all, period. It's just... I'm love. We're all amazing. I'm a child of the universe. You can't give me anything or take anything away from me that I don't already have. Period. You can't give me love that I don't already have. And you can't take it away. Now we just get to play with each other. If we want. And then it becomes fun. And then it's, 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 a, it's a delicious dance. Delicious. It's a delicious yeah. dance. I like that. A delicious dance. Yeah. Yeah. Without the, uh, without the, I need you to exactly. make me okay. Exactly. Like, That's, I don't need you. To, I'm okay here. I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I am awesome now. Completely. Completely. Totally. Totally. As I am. As I am. What insights did you learn from all your amazing experiences through your journeys? Jesus. What insights did I learn through all my amazing experiences? Um, wow, I mean, I think uh, I think one of the biggest insights that I've learned is that I've spent so much of my life trying to get love from the world outside of me that I think waking up to the truth of who I am as I am a loving being already. There's nothing you can give me that I don't already have within me, right? That, rather than spending all my time trying to get from the world, what I find is that when I just show up and give my gift of love, whatever that looks like in the moment, I mean, things just work. It just works. Things come together. I mean, relationships soar. Uh, the work that I do is fun and meaningful and it's of service. I mean, just everything comes together when I'm, when I'm really giving my gift versus trying to get shit from the world. So what about what you're giving to the world is based off your experience? Um, everything. I mean, what I'm giving to the world, uh, the core of my work is helping people come home to themselves. 
helping people get out of all the crazy, insane stories that we've been taught our whole lives, which are, you know, the stories of un lack of worthiness. I'm not worthy, or I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of love. I'm not worthy of, of, of your, of, of kindness. Whatever the, whatever the story may be, helping people come out of that insanity, and come back home to themselves again. That we are, we're, we're, we're just here to love. We're, we're all love bugs, aching to give our love in whatever way that's authentic for us. And so, I mean, that's been, because that's been my journey in my lifetime, is waking up to that. And so, I mean, the work that I do as a coach, the work that I do as a writer, it's all about kind of turning around. It's like I have a, a, an insight or something in my life, I go through something and something in me wakes up to a deeper truth, a deeper reality, a deeper love. And what I do is I, then I just turn around and, and offer that to the people in my midst that are watching or that could be served by what I'm waking up to at what I call at the edge of my truth. If, uh, if you were given a chance to like help people, like what would be your, what would be your point? You're like, what, how would you sum up all your work into like giving out a message to somebody? Well, it's kind of what I just said. I mean, my, the core of my work is helping us remember who we are. It's helping us remember the love that we are. The amazing, I mean, what I was talking about in that, in that dating diet, when I stopped putting my self-worth on the world around me, and I started just showing up fully embodied with the, the, the magnificent, alive, sexual and, and brilliant creature that I am, that we all are, and just walking through the world, radiating that. I mean, Jesus, man, I, I was alive. I mean, that is an experience of really being alive. And that's when I can really show up with my gifts. And, and that's all I think any of us are aching for. All any of us are aching for is to really give our love, give our gift, give our, our unique wisdom, our unique offering to the planet, the thing that we came here to give. Most people aren't doing that because they're so caught up in, I gotta get something, I gotta survive, I gotta make money. I gotta... So that's my work. My work, I, when I was in the military, I had everything. I had prestige, I, had, uh, I, had, I was making great money. I was a captain in the Air Force. I mean, I had, I had adventure, I had a good woman, I had a home, I had a car, I had, I had everything. I was fucking miserable. And most of the world seems so caught up in having that everything so that then, because once I have everything, then I'll be okay. That's the story we believe. And it's not true. It doesn't work because people get everything on the outside world that they think they want and they're not happy. It doesn't work. In fact, most people get everything and then they're fucking miserable because they thought it was supposed to happen out there. So really, it's about doing the inner work, about coming home again, coming home to ourselves waking up to the truth of who we are. Now, in that place, we're free to give. We're not stuck in the getting anymore. We're free to just show up and fucking give. Give our love, give our gift, give our talent. I mean, you guys are all doing this and showing up and you have video editing skills and you're amazing at holding that thing and, <laughs> and you know, and asking questions and holding the container for all of this. I mean, you guys are giving your gift and look what you're doing. You know, you're, you're, you're holding, you're creating a story that's going to serve God who knows how many people and how it's going to serve them by showing up with your passion and giving your gift. And that's all any of us really want to do on this planet. So my name is Brian Reeves and I'm interviewing for The Love Story and my definition of the ultimate love story. Wait a second. My ultimate definition of the love story is that we are waking up to the love that we are y'all there's no love out there to get it's all here in here we are fountains of love just here to give our love to the world and that is the ultimate love story that we are waking up to mm, it's so juicy yummy good <laughs> it's delicious yeah that's a wrap that's